Today I'm gonna to talk about how to create a debt payoff plan. So many of my coaching clients, they come to me and they say, Kelly, I have paid off my credit cards in the past, but then three months later, I'm back in credit card debt. I need a way to stop this cycle. I need a way to manage my money and stop going back into debt and stop going back into credit card debt and just how do I manage my money correctly? So today we're gonna to talk about that. And it's so important to come up with that plan because it is so easy to pay off all your credit cards and then go right back into debt. Unless you come up with a system in a way that works for you on how to manage your money, how to draw a line in the sand and be like, okay, this is how I'm gonna manage my money going forward, this is how I'm going to attack debt, and this is how I'm gonna stay ahead and not go back into living paycheck to paycheck, not go back into incurring more debt, but no new debt, and this is how we're going to come up with an action plan. So stay tuned. Throughout the video, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks along the way. If you're new, welcome. My name is Kelly Ann Smith with Freedom and Abundance. Budget.com, and I help people create a budget, manage their money, and then also help to start them investing, paying off debt, and then also growing their wealth. So if you're new, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and join the Freedom in a Budget family. Where to begin? Okay, first we need to come up with a plan of attacking our debt. How are we gonna attack that debt? There's typically two ways that people attack their debt, either the debt snowball or the debt avalanche. I'm actually gonna talk to you about those two, plus a third, one that you may not know about, and one that could be really beneficial and it could be the reason why those two aren't working for you and maybe this may be the method that is like finally the aha moment okay this is a great way for me that works best for me in my situation because every situation is different I'm not the type of coach that is very black and white I only do the debt snowball or I only do the debt avalanche or I only do this or I only pay off debt and then start saving then start investing I am more of a okay What's the big picture? What are your goals? What? Let's take a sit down and let's look at this and let's talk about it because every single situation is different. Everyone has different goals. Everyone has a different mindset. And I like to really help you figure out what's going to be best for you and then, okay, let's come up with a game plan and let's make it happen. Next, we need to know what debt you have. And this is something that is very scary for a lot of people and is very nerve wracking and stressful and embarrassing. I personally used to be embarrassed when I was first learning about my debt-free journey and starting to gather all of my finances. I didn't even wanna know about my debts and all of that. So really just saying, okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna rip off the Band-Aid. We're gonna find out how much debt we have, what's going on, so that we can make a game plan from that. Not knowing about your debt may feel good for a little bit, but it's gonna be sitting on your shoulder of how much debt you have, what's going on, how much how much debt. It's really gonna start eating away with you, whereas you find out may suck, may cry, there may be tears, but you own it, and then you know. Then you don't have that, that sh that worry hanging over your shoulder. I personally use Credit Karma. They're great, they're free. They have a great online tool that you can log in, put in your information, and it's gonna tell you all of your debts, all of the balances, all the debts that you've paid off, all of the open ones, everything. It's gonna give you a full history of everything that's going on so that you can say, oh, yeah, that medical bill, I forgot about that. That's now in collections and okay, let's let's figure that out. Let's add that to the game plan and let's come up with a plan. So Credit Karma, they're awesome. I have a link for them down below and they just have everything there. And honestly, even if you're not in debt, I honestly recommend, I still go in every month or so to look at my credit score, but then also make sure there's there are no new inquiries that weren't for me because fraud is out there. Especially nowadays, fraud is, Friday is serious and people are stealing identity after identity. So you want to make sure that no one has stolen your identity as well. But if you do have debts on there, own it and they're yours and that we need to make a plan to pay them back. All extra money needs to go to these debts. So whether that be leftover money in your grocery spending, leftover money in your eating out category, a bonus at work, a raise at work, tax returns that you get, any leftover money, that needs to go towards your debts to help knock it out fast. That's our goal to get rid of this debt as quickly as possible so that we can go on to bigger and better things and just have that weight lifted off our shoulders. So any leftover money in your budget needs to go towards debt. Next, let's increase our income. Let's try and get a raise or promotion at work. Let's pick up a side hustle. I have a free printable for you guys of 147 side hustles, all that you can do from home all that you can do right from your couch or right from your bed with an internet connection. You don't need to go out door dashing or rover, all of that. In this printable, 147 side hustle ideas. So I'll have that linked down below for you guys. But find some ways to increase your income because we can only cut spending so much. We can only cut back so much, but there's an unlimited amount that you can make 
money. And the, the ceiling is not there. There is a limitless that you can make. I've really learned that this year. It's crazy of even how much I've been able to build for my business. So remember that there's a unlimited amount of money that you can earn, but only so much that you can cut. This was really a big aha moment for me about two years ago throughout my YouTube journey. And I was so big on cutting, 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 cutting. And then I took a step back and be like, you know what, Kelly, like even with my like clients that I would work with, I would, we would go through and there was nothing else that they could cut. So the only other answer is, okay, let's increase our income. Let's work on increasing our income. You can only cut so much. Okay, now we're gonna go through the different payoff methods. And like I said, stay tuned because there may be one that is new to you that may be exactly what you need. So let's look at the debts of this example. The first one is a car loan of $525 minimum payment. Total amount is $25,000, interest rate 5.3%. Next credit card, $125 minimum payment. Total amount $6,500 interest rate 21%. Next is a personal loan of $200 minimum payment, total amount $5,000, interest rate of zero. Medical bills, minimum payment of $85, total amount $3,000, and an interest rate of 16%. Student loan, $100 minimum payment, $32,000 total, and 5.8 interest. So in total, this person is paying $1,035 in minimum payments every single month, and their total debt amount is $7,500. The first payoff method is a debt snowball. For this method, you are going to list all of your debts from smallest to largest of the total amount. So for this example, this person has five different debts. So they're gonna list their debts in order of the total amount. So medical bills is gonna be the number one because it's only 3,000. So you're gonna go from smallest to largest all the way up to the student loan at $32,000. You're not gonna pay attention to interest rate. You're not gonna pay attention to minimum payment. You're just gonna focus on the total amount from smallest to largest. Now, what you're gonna do with this method is any leftover money like we talked about, you're gonna put it straight towards that smallest debt. So you're gonna pay the minimums on the remaining, but the smallest debt, which is a student loan, you're gonna put all of your extra money, all of your extra focus towards that debt. So if you have an extra $200, an extra $300, an extra $20, whatever it is, that's gonna to go towards that smallest debt. Then once that debt is paid off, maybe a month, maybe three months, six months, a year, whatever it is, then all of that extra money is gonna get rolled to the next debt. And then all that focus is gonna to go to that debt then once that one's paid off, it's gonna to roll to the next debt and the next debt so that it goes into a snowball method. The reason why people like this one so much is because it gives you that small win. It gives you that momentum of, oh, we just paid off a debt. This is awesome, I'm so excited. Especially if you have a lot of credit cards, this is a really good one because then you can have a maybe $400 credit card, you can pay it off the first month and then you have a $600 credit card and then you have a $800 credit card and you can have those small wins and really get that momentum of the, this is awesome, I'm making progress, I'm doing really big things with my money. So that's a debt snowball. The next one is the debt avalanche. In this one, you're gonna list all of your debts in order of the interest rate with the highest one at the top. So you want interest rate order, highest of the interest rate on the top and then lowest at the bottom. So for this example, your credit card would be number one and then your personal loan would be number five. So the benefit of this one is you're paying your debts with the highest interest rate because that's what's costing you the most. Mathematically, this is the best option because you're paying that interest off really, really quickly. For instance, the, the credit card with 21%, that's a lot of money, that adds a big, that's over $200 that you're paying for every thousand dollars that you've borrowed, which that adds up quick. So we want to get rid of that debt that has that high interest rate first. And then after that debt is gone, and then the next one, the next one, the next one, we don't care about minimum payments with this one. We don't care about total debt amount. Now, this one can be discouraging for people if they have ones with high interest rate, but they're big, big, big amounts, and then they may not get that momentum. So maybe you have one that is a super high interest rate, but maybe it's like $20,000 that you have, that's gonna take a long time to pay off where you may have a smaller debt that's only $300 that you could have paid off in two months. So those are the pros and cons with this method. The next method is the tsunami method, the debt tsunami method. And I have two examples for this one. This one is really interesting. So the way that this one works is the one that makes you mad and it really just upsets you. So in this example, the number one debt that they have listed is their personal loan because their mom lent them money, which was so nice for her to help out loan money. But every single time you see her, why'd you buy that shirt? Why'd you buy this? What are you doing? Are you, are you getting new jobs? What, what's going on with your life? And it's just a stress. 
It's always those little sly comments that just get under your skin. And yes, maybe it's 0% interest. Maybe it is not the, the lowest debt that you have, but it's a debt that it stresses you out. It's the debt that you just get mad at and you just want it gone because once it's gone, then you don't have to worry about the hassle from your mom. Once it's gone, it's gone, you're good, even though it's 0%. Or maybe it's a debt that is from a divorce and you just don't want to look at it because every time that you have to make that payment, it just takes you off and reminds you of that person. It just, mm -mm, it just stresses you out. So maybe that is your number one debt. So then you list your debts in that order. Or what you may want to do is do a hybrid method. So you may say, okay, my number one is my personal loan. It is the one that I want to get out because I want to stop owing my mom money. After that, we're going to switch to the avalanche and get rid of those credit cards, get rid of that high interest. Then we're going to work the rest of the avalanche. Or maybe you want to work the snowball after. It's totally up to you in coming up with that game plan. The key for all of these methods is you want that laser focus. You want that laser focus on that number one debt, that debt that's at the top of the scale so that you can put all your concentration. So many people will put $50 here, $20 here, $200 here, and have a little bit on each of their debts. That's not going to make as much progress as if you attacked one debt at a time so that you can go and knock them out. The next example in the debt tsunami is what frees up the most in your budget. So this one is an order of minimum payments of highest minimum payment to lowest minimum payment because maybe you have a job change coming up or maybe you're moving and you're moving to a maybe higher cost of living because of that job change and you need as much free money in your budget as possible. So what you're gonna do in this example is then you're gonna pay off the one with the highest minimum payment. So for this one, it's gonna be the car loan because the car loan has a minimum payment of $525. And then once that's gone, that's $525 that you can free up in your budget. And that way it may be more easier for you in that move of, okay, that's one less huge bill that we have to worry about in our budget. So that way we can, whew, we can take a little step back. We can still work the, the avalanche or the snowball or whatever it is, but that is a big chunk of our budget. And once that is gone, then we can move. Once that is gone, then we can do whatever it may be. So that is a version of the tsunami, which may be really helpful depending on your situation. Let's keep the conversation going with side hustles that you can do from home. Check out this video here. And if you want to know how to stop living paycheck to paycheck, how to get one month ahead on your bills, check out this video here. Oh, 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 oh.